Kentucky came so, 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 so close to beating Florida for the first time in 31 years. And then on two pivotal plays, the Wildcats reminded us all how it's possible that a losing streak to a division rival can span generations. Two unfathomable mistakes, a blown coverage that gave up the go-ahead score, and a holding call that scuttled one final chance to respond, sank Kentucky in a 28-27 defeat that may be more painful than the 30 losses to Florida that came before it combined. Austin McGinnis's 57-yard field goal attempt as time expired was online, but fell agonizingly short, keeping the Gators improbably perfect in sec play and deepening the emotional trauma UK fans harbour in this rivalry. Where to begin with the Wildcats? Start with the defence, which had Florida searching for answers for most of the night and prompted head coach Jim McElwain to bench starting quarterback Philip Franks for Luke Del Rio after two three-and-outs to open the second half. Del Rio, who sat third on the depth chart behind Franks and graduate transfer Malik Zaire during the season opening loss to Michigan, led an 80-yard touchdown drive early in the fourth quarter and then found Mark Thompson sitting unmarked over the middle on a fourth and two just past midfield to extend the Gators' next possession. Another fourth down conversion got Florida into the red zone with less than a minute to go.